Hi, everyone. Hey, welcome. All right, so when you hop on, just say hi. Let us know where you're watching from. Yes, and make sure that we can hear you or that you can hear us and that uh, you can see us so that we know that we are on. And welcome. Uh, yes, I am Sherry Buckner, and this is my daughter, Amanda Kleckler. Hey, Matthew. Hey, April. Matthew, Good. thank yes. you so much for joining us. Yes, thank you. And we are with Grace Monroe Home. And uh, we are so glad that you are joining us tonight when we make our succulent wreath. So we are excited. I have waited all week to make this. Yeah. So I'm excited about this. Hey, hey Teenie. Teenie. We're glad to have you on here. I hope you guys are having a great night. Yes. I hope you're feeling better, Teeny. Hope you're recovering well. Hey, Justin. So like she said, um, for those of you that are just hopping on, my name is Amanda Kleckler. This is my mother, Sherry Buckner. We are owners and designers at Grace Monroe Home, yep. where we make luxury floral wreaths, and we teach others how to make and sell their designs. So tonight, we are going to be making a succulent wreath. Yes, we are. And I am excited. I showed you last night. Uh, hey, Belinda, we're glad to have you on here. I showed you last night uh, some of the gorgeous succulents that we have. And we are going to put these together in a wreath that's going to be very natural looking. I don't know if any of you have seen the, the live succulent wreaths. I keep saying I'm going to try that one of these days. I haven't yet, but... Uh, they are just so neat to me one of these days but i'm not really great at keeping things alive unfortunately that's why i have always loved the faux flowers so they work better for me but we are going to get started and i'm going to be using an 18 inch grapevine wreath amanda's going to be making one on a 14 inch just to kind of give you an idea of the difference. So, and like we said, if you just, uh, when you pop on, just say hello and let us know where you're watching from. And I'm gonna see if I can get the comments to show up, maybe. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And the first thing, some of these succulents they make have really, really thick stems here. And what you can do is you can take the covers off of the stem because it's always a lot thinner underneath. So. I do that a lot because it really, really helps you getting it into the wreath. So, the first thing I'm going to do. Well, did you show them the succulent? Yes, okay. I did. All right, well, I'll show you again. Yeah, show, these are really, she, you really... can see hers. Yeah. So, we found these succulents. We got these at Michael's. These came from Michael's. Yes. They are, y'all go to Michael's and get some succulents. They are on sale. They're on right now and you can get them i Look think at those colors isn't that awesome? if i'm not mistaken they're 50 percent off this week and they have got a ton of different kinds so so we've got some succulents we've got some um eucalyptus yes we've got some grasses and greenery that we're going to use a little yep. bit of fern yep so it's gonna have a lot of things in it so the first thing that i'm going to do this is my largest uh, succulent that I've got here. So I'm gonna put this one down towards the bottom. And this uh, is going to be all basically on one side. So I'm gonna aim this kind of out. I don't want it facing, you know, straight on, as you've heard me say, I don't, uh, I don't like them straight, straight in. So I've got it kind of angled just a little bit and it's right about the middle bottom is where I'm putting this. 
And so for those of you that are just hopping on, um, say hi, let us know where you're watching from. And also, if you would like to get updates and um, be notified when we go live and have a new live broadcast, just comment live, the word live in the uh, comment section, and we will um, have a messenger system that uh, emails you. Yes. So Or sends it by messenger, yeah, sends it by I messenger. think. Yeah. So that, that's, that's pretty neat. So... This is another one of my larger ones. So some of these, um, those stems are really, really thick. Yeah. And, so, and like I said, now this one didn't come off very easily. So I, I was just going to try to get it in like it is. Uh, but you can, you can take the, the plastic uh, stem Usually you can pull yeah, these you. out. There you, you go. Can just pull that right off. It comes right off, and it makes it a lot easier because you're not going to be able to see it in the wreath anyway. So you might as well pull that off. That's that's hard to get, you know, in, and it makes it a lot easier for you. Hey Betty and Dixie, thank y'all so much for joining us. And my larger succulents are going to be down here towards the bottom. I'm going to have some smaller ones. It's going to be a little bit smaller as we go up. So I've got my larger ones here at the bottom. Hey, Barb. And when you're choosing your succulents for your succulent wreath, make sure to get several kinds. You know, you can have, like I do have these two that are the same, but they are two different colors. That's fine. And I've got several of these that I'm going to be using that's the same. But you want to make sure that you've got a variety of them to make it, you know, just look a lot better. So Yeah, and that's the great thing about succulents. And I think that's why uh, people like them so much because you can put all kinds of different ones together. You know, they can yes. look kind of messy. You don't have, they're not so uniform. Exactly. They're very, you know, there's a lot of dimension to them. And that's what makes them so fun to work with. Exactly. So this is just a nice little pop of color that we're using in there. Yes, I love this color. And like I'll show you what she was talking about. Well, I took the whole thing off. Uh oh. Yeah. But some of them have kind of a, a smaller stem on the inside. And you can just pull it right off. And like if that if yours comes off, just stick it in some glue and stick it back in. Yes. Let's see, there's my little brass. And as I said, we're going to go from larger and just get smaller, a little smaller as we go forward. And I think this is going to turn out to look like we want it to look, which is more like you would see in a, in a live one. And like she said, we are going to be using some eucalyptus and stuff to fill in. But I wanted to put, I like putting my um, succulents on first. And then I go back and fill in with, with all of my other. And look at this. Is that not, it looks almost like something you would see in the middle of the ocean. It's kind of neat. And I am afraid I do not know the names of all the uh, the succulents, but I do think this one is interesting hey karen linda thank y'all so much for joining us i hope you're having a great night what are you guys up to this evening and what is the weather like where you're at it's actually been nice uh the last couple of days yes, here yes it has the kids have been able to play outside and they love that so, and I know you see me keep looking at my phone. I'm just going to tell you, I have, I took a picture of how I designed it today and I loved the way it turned out. So I just want to make sure it's going to turn out that way again. Hey, Vicki, so. thank you so much for joining us. So if you're just hopping on, we are making succulent wreaths. 
I'm making mine on a 14 inch grapevine. She's making one on a uh, 18, 18 inch, inch grapevine. Exactly. And we've just got a collection of a whole variety of um, succulents that we're using in these wreaths, as well as some greenery. Hey, Tiffany. Yes. Typically, um, I know you always tell them to put the greenery first. Yes, this is the one that I'm doing different, though. I do normally like to put my green because, um, you know, especially if I'm working on one that's completely uh, covered, the whole thing, um, because that gives my, my uh, design shape and I know exactly how I want it to turn out. Um, but with this one, because I do have a, a variety of the succulents, I want to make sure that I get them you know, arranged right and all that. So I, and I'm not, the greenery is not actually uh, giving me the, the, the design. It's, it's not uh, doing that this time. So it's just filling in. I'm just going to fill in with holes uh, with the greenery. So I just love the colors of these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I they haven't seen these colors. To me. And, I mean, these colors are kind of. And look at that. Know. Isn't that interesting? I love it. And you may notice what I'm doing, I'm putting some towards the inside, some facing down, and some a little more towards the outside. And this is going to basically be in, in the C shape here. Yes, Betty. Betty said her Bradford pear trees are starting to bloom. Well, do you know, Betty, I have got three that are in the front of my picket fence in my front yard. And the funny thing is, one of them, which is the smallest, they, they were all bought at the same time, were all the same height, but for some reason, one is shorter than the rest. And every year, it blooms before the other two. And right now, it is blooming just gorgeous. The other two haven't bloomed at all, but that one looks gorgeous. Yeah, it's, it's funny, kind of it's funny you mentioned that, Betty, because we were just talking we, about that We earlier. just were talking about how strange it looked that that one is already bloomed, and I mean completely bloomed, and the other two have not, so maybe, maybe soon. Let's see. You have a couple of different ones. I mean, yes, that's I okay. do, so you can just kind of, okay. you know, put something yeah. that's about the same size in there, and look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Hey, Vanessa. Thank you for joining us. We are great. How are you? And if you guys will share this video, um, you know, if you know somebody who might like to, to learn how to make a succulent wreath, share this video with them. We would certainly appreciate it. That really helps us out. Isn't that interesting how it's just falling? I like that. So normally with mine, I would cut the stems off after I was finished. But because I am working, I'm working, she's using the stand. I'm just working flat on the table. I'm having to go ahead and cut the back so that I can lay the, um, the wreath down. Yes. But if I were working on the stand, I would just put them all in and then cut the, cut the backs. Hey, Janet. Thank you all for joining us. Mm -hmm. Oh, and thank you for sharing. Thank y'all so much. We really do appreciate that. Yours. I know. I'm going to take it off the stand and I'm putting this last one on here of my succulents and then I'm going to take it off just so that they can get an idea of how I've got them on. Okay. So, so you can see this is how I've got them, them on. 
And okay, this is before the, she gets the greenery. Yes, I haven't added the, any of my greenery yet. This is just the succulents. And that's, you know, I don't want any more succulents. That's that's plenty for this this size wreath. Now, of course, if you want more, that is, it's all in whatever you like. But this is going to be uh, enough for what I, how I want it to look. Matthew, I have not hung it yet, but I need to. I need to. I took down my Valentine's Day wreath, so that's not up anymore. But I have not put that one up yet. Which one is the that? The one that we made the sign for. The oh, day. yes, yes. And now what I've got here is just eucalyptus. And I'm going to fill in some of my places with that. I've got several grains that I'm going to use, but I'm going to do them one at a time. So first I'm going to work on my eucalyptus. Do you need me to slow down? Have you got no, I got going? it. All right. I haven't started the greenery yet, but that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. And just like with the succulents that are at the bottom, I'm kind of aiming them this way i'm not putting them straight in hey gail thank you tiffany thank y'all for joining us tonight i know it's uh it's kind of a weird time it's probably dinner time for a lot of you but thank you for uh joining us yes we really do appreciate that and, and for all of you that are sharing i appreciate that too and now we're just sticking the stems directly into the grapevine and just kind of weaving them through. Yes. And make sure if you have any questions, uh, ask them. We, we, if we don't answer them, if for some reason we don't see your question and we don't get it answered while we're live, we will go back and uh, I always try to answer them if I can later. So make sure to ask any questions and we will try to get to you. So do you guys like succulents? I love them. I love succulents. So if you like succulents, just give me some hearts and let me know. Yes. Because I absolutely love them. I mean, I, you know, I like, I love and the look of succulents. Yes. And I love these faux artificial succulents, but I'm not so good at keeping them alive. See, I'm not either. And I tell you why, because from what I understand, people tell me this and I try very yes. hard. I, I see all the hearts. You guys yes. I uh, over water them because succulents are one of those things that doesn't need a lot of water apparently and i think that they need more water than they do and i always end up killing them and i love them so i have one uh plant and i cannot think of the name of it i think it's the hen and chick that's out in my yard and that i do not ever touch well it spreads like and like it spreads wildfire. like crazy <laughs> that one thing so as long as i don't touch it and try to do anything with it it does really good but the minute i try to do something to it it's messing it up hey so. brenda and diane we we purchased these succulents at michael's all of these succulents came from michael's today yep every one of these and as i was telling uh earlier Right now, they've got them 50% off, so make sure to get them while you can at such a good price because that is an, you, you can get these very reasonable. Karen, we will put a link for the glue skillet in the comments in just a little while, let you know sure where you can purchase will. that and everything that we're using. Yes, and we uh, used... Uh, glue um i guess pellets yeah glue pellet glue pellets that's what we use in oh, our that's what i call them yeah i'm not sure what the i don't know official, if that's the technical name yeah they're diamond diamond glue pellets is what we use we buy them usually in between 25 and 50 pounds so we buy a lot at a time yes but you can buy them in you small can buy them in just the small yes you certainly can but we we go through a lot of them so And all I'm doing right now is just going around and filling in any of my holes with eucalyptus for those that have just popped on. And just to let the new ones on, uh, no, I am Sherry Buckner, and this is my daughter, Amanda Kleckler, and we're with Grace Monroe Home. 
and we are really, really happy that you are taking your time out to be with us tonight. That means a lot to us, and uh, I really thank you for that. So if you're new to our um, broadcast and you've never watched us before, welcome. Let us know if you're new, if this is the first time you've watched us. Um, my mom and I, we have been making uh, luxury floral wreaths. That's um, kind of our specialty. We yes. do the luxury designer wreaths. We've been making them uh, since 2007. We've yes. had our business. Yes, so it'll be 11 years in July. So we have, um, you know, we've grown our business. We started out selling on eBay yes. and our business kind of just took off from there. Um, we, we've sold thousands of wreaths all over the world. Yes. Um, you know, to some high profile clients and yes, we've you know, got, we even have celebrity clients. I'm, so, I'm happy to say I'm grateful. Yes. Believe me, I thank God every day for it. So um, we're very, very we blessed. Do. And um, we now, we coach other um, creative entrepreneurs, people who make handmade products and wreath makers not only how to make luxury wreaths like we do, but also how to um, have a thriving business. So if yes. that's something that you would, you're would you interested in, um, we will post a link in the comments and you can take a look at that and see if that is something that you might, you know, yes, want to we have an about. exclusive club that uh, we uh, have for that. And uh, we would love to have you in it. And like I said earlier, I'm just going around right now and just adding some eucalyptus that yeah, I, mean, I love. And it works well. This works really nicely with the succulents. This or the boxwood, you could use boxwood, but I just like the eucalyptus better. Yes, so. and the thing with these, I mean, you can't, you cannot mess them no, up. No, you I really mean, they're succulents. Can't. You know, they're wild. and Yes, you know, and, and you don't want them to be so uniform. Yeah. You want them to kind of you know, look like you would see them in nature. Yes, exactly. So that's the goal. I'm going to take it off the stand and just show you up close again so that you can see where we're at so far. I think it's looking nice. It's got the shape that I'm looking for and, uh, there's something about the eucalyptus that just really helps the succulents pop even more. So I like using it in these. So really you could use any kind of greenery. Yes, you really could. And the fern always looks really good, I think. I think with yes, succulent wreaths. Yes, it does. Yeah, one more. And let us know if, if you uh, make wreaths. I'd love to know what you're working on right now. Can I use a little bit of your fern? You certainly can. I mean, I still I haven't have some even of her put mine yet. You, well, I won't use too much. Oh, I just need a couple of pieces. I'm not going to add a lot. Oh, whoops. So I'm just going to add a couple of pieces here. That looks pretty. Yeah. I think it really does look good on a 14 inch. Mm -hmm. I yeah, like either. It looks. You know, and that's the thing with succulents. They're not, um, you know, they can get, they can get a little bit pricey using a ton of succulents. So mm -hmm. you do want to make sure that you do, you know, use some of that greenery in there just to kind of keep your cost a little exactly. bit exactly lower because you can you can make it cost whatever you you want to believe me so i would suggest buying those when they're on sale yes and, and they're like on I sale said, right now they are they're 50 percent off right now so this is a great yeah. time to go to michael's and yeah. get, buy them out get the them yes and i promise you if you're a wreath maker and you're selling wreaths the succulents are going to be really popular oh, they the are two seasons. we we have uh, since I started making them, I don't know, several years ago, we've got a couple of different designs. And, I mean, those always sell very quickly. This so, year, they're even more. They're yes, even more popular. Yes, they are. They really are. And especially now, because for the longest time, you could not get them in any colors. Uh, you know, you could only find green. them in green. That was it. And now that they've got them in all the different colors, oh, I just love them.
And right now I'm just adding this and I cannot remember what the name of this vine is, but there again, this is, I got this at Michael's. And we, no, I that, am, that, was that by Michael's? Yeah. Maybe it was. Okay. Yeah, I got this at this one. Michael's always carries this one. Thank you, Anna. Hey, Bonnie. Thank it's you for joining us. We're frozen. Showing. Yes, we're, our, our frozen. comments are uh -oh. frozen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, wait just a minute. I'm gonna have to go over here. Can y'all see us? Can, did you get it? <laughs> we have a little bit of a technical. Yes, I have. Uh, we're using our computer and it's a touch screen, and Amanda's not used to the yeah, touch screen, and she goes to touching, and I'm telling her, don't touch. <laughs> okay, so let us know if up. you can see us if we're still live. Yes, please let us know. Matthew? You say we are. Okay, Matthew can see us. Brenda okay, see us. great. Thank okay. you. Okay, hey, Brenda. Thank you for joining us tonight. Yes. Oh, and by the way, if you are in our exclusive group tomorrow, we've got a really, really, yes, really. We're making something with lemons in our exclusive really pretty group we're tomorrow. tomorrow so. We're going to be live in our group. And uh, so, yes, I'm excited about that one, too, because we got that sign. And so I've got a really neat sign that's going to go in the middle of it. And so I'm excited. Hey, Karen about that. and Susan, thank y'all. I don't know what I did, but that's why I'm not very technical. <laughs> Technologically challenged. I'm a little bit technologically yes. challenged. Yes. So y'all bear with me. And I'm finally getting used to my touch screen. I, I was terrible at it at first, but I'm getting a little bit better at it. Hey, Julie. Thank you. Thank y'all so much for joining us. Yes. And uh, I told them Dalia. earlier, but just if you uh, would like to know when we're going to go live, make sure to uh, just type the word live in comments and you will get notifications uh, right before we go live. So you will know about it uh, and you won't miss us. Karen, uh, Karen's asking, how does she keep in touch with, uh, are you talking about our live broadcast? If so, just type live into the mm -hmm. comments here. Yes, and it'll go through Messenger. Yeah, you'll get you'll a message. You'll just get a message. I type out a message about 30 minutes uh, before we go live, just letting you know. And I mean, if you can make it, that's wonderful. And if you can't make our live broadcast, that is fine. Yes. And i tell you something else. Um, Facebook has recently, you may have got a notice saying that they changed your notifications on uh for your groups and for your the pages that you follow so if you do follow us um and if you have liked grace monroe home make sure to go and check the notifications so that you get them because uh the way that facebook i got a notice this week and several of the ones that i really like to watch um, I knew I had not been seeing them lately, and that's why, because they have changed the notifications. And so I had to uh, go in my notifications and make sure that I uh, see them first. So, so yes, if you want to see us live and to know when we're going on, just type the word live into the comment section, and we will send you a message about uh, we have a messenger system that we use. But yes. I actually type out the messages and send them about 30 minutes before we go live. I'm going to decide if I like that or not. I'm going to leave it for a minute, but I may. I think I'm going to check that out. I don't like it. I am going to move it up here. I had um, a two-year-old spend the night with me last night. My two-year-old granddaughter, Ava, uh, spent the night with my husband and I last night because her mother has clinicals. She's in nursing school, and she had clinicals today and had to be there very, very early this morning. So uh, 
I'm a little tired, so if I'm doing something crazy, you may know why. But uh, she slept great. She yeah, she's great. not it's used to having I'm not toddler. used to having a toddler I all have the time. I so. have a two and a four year old, and yes. they they don't like to sleep. They like to no. keep you awake. So no, in fact, uh, she made a point of saying, "I'm not go sleep, Gigi. I'm not go to sleep." I'm like, "Yes, baby, you got to go to sleep. Gigi's got to have some rest." Oh, thank you. Holly, we are using um, a glue skillet. It's a seven inch it's glue a seven skillet. Inch glue and I, you know, Matthew, I saw your comment above about a glue gun. And I know you make wreaths a lot. Why don't you consider getting the glue skillet? Yes, it's glue not, guns are, you, you got your hands free. That's, that's the thing. I yeah. used a glue gun for years. And I'm telling you, when I found out about uh, these, it, it made all the difference. It really did. It helped so much. So I just highly recommend them. And I had someone ask me last night in our live if uh, you could use a regular electric skillet. And honestly, you probably can. You just are going to have to find out what um, temperature the glue is going to be melted and stay melted. And you've got to make sure that the, the skillet that you use is going to stay at an even temperature. That's what's great about these. And they're very inexpensive. So I well, just well, they're a good investment. They're, yeah, they I mean, they're really more expensive are. than they are. They are more than you're going to pay about gun, thirty dollars. But thirty. But, 30 but if you mm -hmm. make if you make you know wreaths and you intend on you know selling them or making them a lot, yes, that is a good investment. It really is. It really is. These they, they last, and I mean, mine goes on first thing in the morning, and it goes off. The last thing in the evening, so it stays all day long. And so somebody was asking about the glue that we use. We have a bucket here, and it's just got. This is what it looks like. It's just these glue little glue pellets. Little glue pellets. Yeah. You just fill up your your pan. Mm-hmm. Uh, Diamond makes these, and you can get them. I know on Amazon you can get this. We buy them in, in bulk, like fifty pound uh, boxes at a time. But yeah. You can buy them um, in just one pound bags. Or you know, real, you know, it's just a few dollars. So I definitely recommend that. Yes, definitely. I think I'm going to put. Yes, Matthew. It takes a minute to get used to it, but I promise it's easier. I it promise really you will not go back if you try it. You really won't. What do you think, Amanda? Should I leave that eucalyptus there or take it out? Look. Well, what do y'all think? Should she add, should she keep take it out or add the eucalyptus? Let yes. us know what you think in the comments. Yes, just let me know. We need I your opinions here, and I can't decide if I want to leave it. There it is with it. Let me put it up close so you can see. There it is with it. Yes, Matthew, I will. I will post a link in the comments. And after there this it is, is without it. So just let us know if you think I ought to leave. I'm going to leave it off right now. Matthew said he likes it. You do like the eucalyptus. And Holly says it looks great. Okay. Okay. Well, in that case, back on it goes. It's kind of hard. See, I have to like. Like when I'm making a wreath, I don't know if you guys make wreaths, you're probably like this too, but I have to like put it up and walk away I know, that's, and like look yes. at it again and stare at it and take this out and put this back in. Like I do that I all the Let time. Let me know if you're like that too. Yes. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Yeah. All right. So Jean, Bonnie, Lisa, they all said that they, and Amanda. That you liked it. Liked okay. It. Well, great. Well, that's good then. I see one more little hole, and I'm not gonna leave because I'm not messed up. Oh, sorry, you took my. Oh, I'm finished with it. 
So some of our comments are freezing up just a little bit. If we don't, if we happen to not see your comment um, while we're live, we'll go back afterwards and we will answer those questions for you. And we always welcome questions. Just, you know, if you have a question about wreath making, if you have a question about, um, you know, building a business or selling your wreaths or whatever, just, uh, you know, drop it in the comments and we'll be checking the next day or two because we're here to serve you. Yes. We and uh, we're always happy and willing to help any way that we can because I'm gonna tell you when when we started I was so thankful uh this was like we said back on eBay and I was just so thankful when I would talk to a few now some of the wreath makers they wouldn't talk to you but most of them were were really helpful and it helped me I had tons of questions when I first started you know how what pictures you needed to take and I mean it's everything and uh, it just, it was real helpful and we just are paying it forward. So we want to help, help others. Okay. Yeah, I'm still adding to mine. I'm just kind of working slow. Yes. And, and I'm just kind of playing. With <laughs> Thank you. Sure. What did they say? She said we're, we're cute together. Oh, <laughs> well, I think so too. We enjoy working together. Yes, we do. It is definitely a dream come true for this mama, I can tell you. And fortunately, yeah, and she we taught me everything well. I know. So <laughs> she's she's a very good teacher. Well, I try. That's right. And she actually worked in a in a forest. Yes, when I was in high school and Here's right out of high school, I sure did and uh, learned a lot. So. Of course, most of the time I wasn't one of the designers at first, so most of the time I was delivering, but I still would, would just stand and watch and try to take in, uh, and then I would go home and try to make something that I had seen. And, uh, and I, I mean, really, that's how lot. you learn. That is I mean, how just you learn. being immersed mm -hmm. in, you know, in the environment, I really think that, that that's how I you think learn. So I think that's what's good about our group, too, because we, uh, those that are in our membership group, um, you know, you can ask each other questions and that kind of thing. And it it really does help, I think. So Matthew said you could add a chalk couture sign. And, and yes, you, you could. Know, it really would be a good idea. It sure A would. couple were asking if we were using a bow. And we're actually not going to put a bow mm -hmm. in this. But you could put a burlap bow. That would look really pretty. Yeah. You know, some kind of burlap bow. But yes, I, I didn't want to in this one. I just wanted to kind of make it really bit. natural. Yeah. I wanted this one to be kind of natural. And so... uh I'm just going to leave it like it is. But how's yours? Let's see. Ooh, I think I like yours better than mine. Yeah, well, they're just different. Yeah. But mine's a smaller reach. And I think yeah. I like that. So you, look mine's at that. Mine's a smaller reach. That, isn't that nice? Can y'all see? Is it backwards? It's it is backwards, backwards yeah. but that's okay. Isn't that pretty? You see, I just kind of put eucalyptus all and around. And look how natural everything. it looks. It looks so I tried so to make it natural. kind of wild and natural, mm -hmm. like you would see in nature. And then here's this one that's larger. Hers is on a 14 inch. And then here's the one that's on the 18 inch. Mm -hmm. And those colors. Oh, thank I you, just Cheryl. They're not love. identical, but you know, they're close. Yeah, they're and close. That's the thing. You just make it and your you own. know, this this actually would be something to think about if you've got like your front door and then a side door where you wanted, you know, a larger one to go on your front door, but you wanted something to kind of coordinate to go on another side door or something, something a little mm -hmm. smaller, it would be perfect. And even you could uh, add a pot of uh, just a pot with some succulents in it to sit on your table on your front porch. Anything like that would just kind of tie it all in and it would really, really make it look nice. So that's always something to think about when you are decorating is where else can I use these elements, you know, and these are great. You could just, I mean, even you could use them inside. I mean, it, they'd be great inside. Yeah, I've got succulents in my house. Mm -hmm. I love so, them. Yes. So, yes. <laughs> they have different arrangements in my house. With yes. You so do too, actually. I do too. I sure so do. We like succulents. I do. So I've got this idea, guys. She kind of thinks I'm a little bit crazy, I think, but I want to do a living yeah. wreath. Have you guys heard of these? A living wreath where you actually put pots in the grapevine and then you have plants in them. Yes. Let me know in the comments if you've heard of those or seen those. 
and they are great for, um, I've seen them um, on fences, uh, you know, on picket fences. I've seen them on hanging on a tree in, in, in your front yard or, or something, and they're just neat looking. So we've been talking about maybe doing something like yeah, that. So, one of so these if days. you would like to see us make a living wreath, let us know in the comments if that is something, you know, because it's going to be kind of a big job for us, I think. Yeah. So we want to make sure that that's something that you would want to see and you'd be interested in watching. So let us know in the comments if you would like to see us make a living wreath. Yes, because I've been looking now, at when it, And when I about talk it. about living wreath, I'm not just talking about like a wreath with live flowers. I'm talking about a wreath with like it's clay actually pots got clay pots with, with plants. With plants and you, you, and you place have, them around. Yeah. And it's really neat. It is. It's very neat. It is. It, it, uh, if you haven't seen one, kind of, uh, Google Living Wreath or something and see because they they really are nice. Yeah. I like the look of them. It's, so, it's different, but I want to try yeah. one. I'm just excited to try one. Yeah. And I'd like to try it for you guys if you'd be interested in seeing it. Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, Matthew, that would be a great idea to put what? herbs in it. Oh, it would. That would be a really good yeah, idea. Really I would. might do that because I love herbs. Yes. And then you could hey, you could use it. Yes. Yeah. And you could use it in a kitchen somewhere with your <laughs> herbs and stuff. That would be really, really nice. Like, I like that. that. Yeah. yeah, that would be really nice. Oh, you know what would be nice is to use a moss-covered wreath. To, yeah, to yeah, well, that's what them. I was thinking, putting some moss. I, I was kind of thinking of keeping some of the grapevine exposed and putting some moss That would be nice. It. Yeah, that's an idea. Uh, if, so if that is something that you're, you think you would like to see us do, let us know because I, I like the idea. I would like to. I'm game if you all are. So, but okay. So this is our succulent wreath. I think that's the way it goes. Yes, <laughs> it's it hard goes to, it's however hard to you want to put like it. mirror image. I yeah, guess. yes, it's hard to see that, but uh, there we go. I just love these colors. I just think they pop. Yeah, and, Bonnie uh, said herbs. I agree. I think that would I be like really that idea. Could put some mint and like some oregano. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. That well, I mean, good. anything that you use. Yeah. And, and and you know what? I just had an idea. We can get our chalk couture that, uh, like Matthew was saying, and put them on the pots. Oh, you yeah. Know? And we then could, that you can label have them. The label. Mm, I've got some ideas now. Yeah. <laughs> So, thank you, Tiffany, and thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight. We appreciate that, and all of you that shared this, we appreciate that. And uh, and um, like we said, if you're interested in learning about our Design with the Pros Club, where we teach you um, luxury wreaths, how to make them, it's a little bit more detailed approach. Um, if you would like to learn about that or how to sell wreaths, um, I believe that we have the post or the uh, the link pinned in the comments. So take a look at that. And also, I know some of you were asking about the glue pot, so we will post the link to the yes. glue pot and the glue. And if you if you do want to uh, join our group, make sure to do it in a hurry because tomorrow I'm going to go live and we're going to do the lemon wreath, and I can't wait for yeah, that. Yeah, that's going to be really pretty. That's going to be pretty. So. so thank you, guys. I hope you have a great night, and we will see you soon. Bye, guys. Bye, y'all.